Okay, pilots. Let's get this job done. Not to sound like a specific YouTuber or anything, but Titanfall 2 has a serious problem. So on October 28th, Titanfall 2 launches. However, on October 21st, Battlefield 1 launches. What this means is EA put Titanfall, a more fledgling IP, in direct competition with one of its bigger IPs. With the seven days apart there, it's actually kind of funny to think that seven days later, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, which also came with the Call of Duty 4 Remastered, launched. Essentially, EA put Titanfall 2 in direct competition with another EA title and another first-person shooter title within that time. Now, this is a sort of launch time for games like that, but regardless, two of these games have bigger bang for the buck in terms of just name branding alone. Now, just looking at this at a pure standpoint, you could say that EA either had too little or too much faith in Titanfall 2. Essentially, EA thought either this game could stand at its own two feet perfectly fine, or this game is a game and a series that they just want to bury and show that it doesn't perform well and maybe destroy the studio. EA have a habit of doing this, so I'm going to go with the latter. Titanfall 2 still does see relative popularity in other places though. For example, there is a dedicated fan base, which we are going to talk about, and there's also the GDQ, Games Done Quick Speedrunning. Titanfall is a game that looks like it's basically built for speedrunning. The amount of speed speed that you can build up, the fun that's in the game, as well as that, like, every time, every time I watch those speedruns, I'm just absolutely amazed at the mastery of the mechanics in that game. Titanfall 2's biggest problem, however, is actually its, its best feature, really, it's the community. Titanfall 2 is a fun game, when I get absolutely fucking bored, and I mean bored stiff, of whatever game I'm playing, multiplayer, single player, I just, I just put up Titanfall 2, it's fun. Boring is not something this game has going for it. Even when you're losing, you're still having fun with the mechanic. The games community is niche, and um, with the games community being niche, what that means is we actually run into this, this cap, if you will, in the multiplayer. Because the multiplayer is one of the best features of the game, but when you have people who have played for so long, who are the highest rank possible, and still playing, and the community is so small, you run into one issue. There is a skill ceiling that just crushes you at every moment. To put this in some more simpler terms, we're going to use League of Legends and Rainbow Six Siege as an example. If you play either of these games, you know about their matchmaking system. So say you just join the game, but the game is rather quite dead, okay? When you go to play the game, everyone else is roughly about the highest rank. So in Siege, that would be Diamond. I don't know what that is in League of Legends, but the highest rank. When you play this game, you may be put in teams with people of similar ranks, but you are extremely low and you don't quite have all the necessary game experience and understanding of the mechanics to be effective. You don't understand the meta. In turn, what this means is you are going to learn the hard way everything about this game, and it's not going to be fun. Titanfall 2 falls into a similar category. There's not an awful lot of people playing, so you end up doing you do a 10-hour session. You may run into the same people at least 8 out of 10 times. If you lost against those people on time 1, 2, 3, 4, five and six, you're going into game seven thinking we're going to lose. Now that's not to say you're always going to lose. I've played a lot of Titanfall 2 and I do have nights where I just join the train and lose, 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 lose. But there are other nights where I just win, 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 win. The issue is that the multiplayer is plateaued in such a way where if certain people are on and you happen to be matched with these certain people, good luck. You're fucked. For me, it does kind of seem like Titanfall was set up to fail, despite the fact that it does have, you know, it's got a good following, and many people still do actively play it. Even on the Titanfall subreddit, they do often mock things that are similar to Apex Legends, made by the same studio, set in the same universe. Things where, in Apex Legends, some guns are extremely nerfed, whereas in Titanfall 2, that gun's gonna one-shot you and your mate ten feet behind you. Now, this unfortunately causes a slight issue where people who want to get into the game get into the game, they play some multiplayer, get fucking creamed, and then leave the game. This creates a cycle where the game almost seems impossible to get into, when in actuality it is very simple to get into, it just requires you to get a little bit more patient with the game, 
understand that there are people who have been playing it for a little longer than you have and as such they're technically going to be more skilled than you. Now there's no real way to combat this overall unfortunately. The game has plateaued out at its sort of levels and as such not much can really be done unless more people buy the game and stick with it in turn refreshing the sort of player pool so that way people have got a more better chance to fill up, rank up, play, get new people to play so on and so forth. The only other thing that can be done is Titanfall 3. As far as I'm aware that's a long way off and mainly just a concept more than anything else. If you were looking to get into Titanfall the only thing I really could say was stick with it because you're going to lose a lot more than you're going to win initially. Definitely a fun game to play but it will take a little bit of getting into and a little bit of patience just to get good. If anyone ever asked me can you recommend a game that I play because I have nothing else to do I would recommend Titanfall 2. If you can get into the multiplayer it's definitely one of the more fun multiplayers out there but even then the story is still an easy three hour time sink if you know what you're doing. Between three and five. Definitely fun, but it's also really short lived. I would highly recommend anyone that watches this if you haven't already played Titanfall 2. Go ahead, pick it up. It's dirt cheap nowadays and honestly, it's fun. It's just fun. It's better than Apex. So yeah guys, that's really about it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, I would say don't bother comment, rating or subscribing. But you know, you know, you're know, already doing it. Um, so you know, if you're going to comment, rate or subscribe, at least watch something else as well. I do try to reply to most if not all the comments. Um, just kind of sick of replying to comments on a Centro video with 21,000 views. Catch you in a wee bit. See you soon, Shagger. Thank you. Thank you.